NVIDIA product lines now fully devoted towards next-gen RTX 50 Blackwell GPUs as RTX 48 it takes back seat. NVIDIA has shifted its production lines to the next-gen Force RTX 50 Blackwell GPUs while the RTX 48 series is now at the end of its life. NVIDIA Force RTX 50 Blackwell GPUs full steam ahead in terms of production, most RTX 48 series now at end of production according to Chinese board channels, NVIDIA has now prioritized its entire production lines towards the manufacturing of the next gen Force RTX 50 Blackwell gaming GPUs which target the gaming market. These next-gen GPUs will be replacing the existing RTX 4080 lineup which has already seen the discontinuation of the flagship models with limited production on a range of productions such as the RTX 4090 and RTX 4090D. The report states NVIDIA is expected to launch its first Force RTX 50 Blackwell GPUs in January and as we had previously reported, the launch lineup will include the RTX 5090. RTX 5080, and RTX 5070 Trio. The actual retail availability of these GPUs will be a few weeks, or months apart from the RTX 5070, but Jensen Huang will take center stage at SEAS to do a proper unveiling of his next-gen products for gamers. As such, the production lines are being moved to the new RTX 50 series, while the RTX 40 series will see the end of the production life cycle which means that existing ADA products will see limited supply moving forward. NVIDIA's latest RTX 50 series GPU will be launched on time in January and will not be delayed any further, which means that the RTX 40 series has entered the final stage of inventory clearance, with only about two months left. NVIDIA's real RTX 40 GPU production line capacity has long been gradually transferred to RTX 50 GPU production and the main production line has been fully transferred. So RTX 40 GPU is now in the final stage of inventory clearance. According to the latest news from Upstream, NVIDIA has completely withdrawn the AD106 production line, and the production capacity has been fully transferred to the RTX 50 series production line, and only the AD107 production line has been temporarily retained. Therefore, the RTX 40 series GPU has entered the last quarter of inventory clearance, and the RTX 40 mid-high-end series GPU has gradually stopped production and supply, and product switching has been accelerated. The supply of AIC brand manufacturers in the future market will become less and less. Via board channels furthermore, in addition to the higher-end variants, NVIDIA is also ending production of its entry-level RTX 40 series such as the AD106 and AD107, but the latter will continue to see small quantity production due to their popularity in the laptop and budget segment. The same was the case with the older RTX 30 series, which saw continued production of the GA107 and GA106 products for a good while the higher-end products were gradually discontinued. This week the board partners, AIC, finally got their first real engineering samples for evaluation, so they have something to solder and test. By Igor's lab frames, this means that the NVIDIA Force RTX 40 series GPUs will see a wave of retailer-specific discounts to move inventory and make room for the upcoming lineup. With that said, Abe's have already started receiving final boards and engineering samples as reported by Igor's lab. So that means that board partners are already evaluating their next-gen designs which we will see in early 2025. With that said, look forward to the grand launch of the Force RTX 50 Blackwell lineup at SEAS which is just a few months away now.